Hey, welcome. All right, so I'm going to do a short video on the residential proxies and how to set them up. Um, you get the instructions, and it's it should be clear enough how to do it, but um, there are a few people that haven't quite gotten it, and, I, and it's just a language barrier, I think, so I may not be explaining it properly um, on email, and I guess it's getting lost a little bit in translation, so I'm just going to do um, two examples now. So um, this is the the way that it works. So what's probably blocking you is thinking you're looking for the IP address. Now there is no IP address. That's what's different here. Everything else is the same. So this you're, you'll be familiar with. This is the port, right? So we'll just, this is the port and this is the normal format that you're familiar with, right? The, and these are the, um, and this separates all the different elements. So this bit here, is actually the URL. It's going to be blurred out because I don't want everyone seeing our proxy URL just because what for. Um, and that goes in the proxy. So wherever you have an option to put a proxy in, here we'll open up this here. And in the proxy over here, that is where you stick the, uh, the URL. Okay, so that goes in the proxy part. And then the rest should be self-explanatory like any other um, proxy provider. This is the port. Then username and password. Okay, so that's using the system um, to access all of the half a million residential proxies in the system across all of the countries, all of the servers that are available. Okay, so if you wanna switch and have dedicated proxies, let me just do another video for that, okay? So this was a nice short two minute video. I don't wanna get any more complicated in this one or go any further. That's how you use the system. The only other thing I will mention in this video is that if you wanna switch up the country codes, you just go ahead and instead of the any, you do, let's say, US or UK or whatever the country code is, Canada. Whatever the country code is in the email sent to you, that's what you use and then you're gonna get country, you're gonna get um, proxies from that country and each request you make you're going to get a brand new fresh proxy from that country next video I'm going to show you how to set up semi dedicated proxies so that they're sticky and that you'll be able to use them um, for a number of for a number of uh, calls so it could be a matter of days weeks uh, months depending on the uh, amount of time that they're used. Sometimes you won't be able to log into them and that's just simply because of the smart switching proxy system that they have. They won't allow you to go onto uh, too many of the same sites at the same time. So that that will also be something that you may come across. Uh, it's just a matter of switching proxies or servers and you're good to go. So hope that makes sense. Next video is going to cover how to make these um, sticky so that you've got your own semi-dedicated IPs to come back to. All right, hope that makes sense. Any questions? Um, Comments in the group, let me know. All right, talk to you soon.